Alex McLeish has been confirmed as the new Scotland manager. The 59-year-old described his return to the role he vacated in November 2007 as a tremendous honour. He has been confirmed in the role he held for 10 months in 2007. Leaving for Birmingham in the November shortly after narrow failure to reach Euro 2008, Alex McLeish has been confirmed as the new Scotland manager taking charge until 2020. The ex-Birmingham boss said that it was a tremendous honour to return to the post. Managers WHO went back Jose Mourinho the self-proclaimed special one was a revelation in his first three years at Stamford Bridge, delivering two Premier League titles and three domestic cups. Having continued collecting silverware at Inter Milan and Real Madrid he returned in 2013 and, despite adding a league and cup double in his second season, was sacked again the following campaign. Kenny Dalglish fan favorite Dalglish began as a player manager and during his first spell in charge led Liverpool to three league titles and two FA Cups while admirably guiding the club. Through the aftermath of the Hillsborough disaster, 20 years after leaving he was back on a caretaker basis, eventually earning a new three-year deal. He fulfilled only one of those before the axe fell, winning the League Cup but settling for eighth in the table. Sir Matt Busby following an immensely successful period as manager of Manchester United from 1945 to 1969. Busby returned just 18 months later after his replacement Wilf McGuinness left the role. Busby managed to steady a sinking ship, led United to eighth in the league and later served as director and president. Kevin Keegan Keegan's instinctive, emotional management was central to Newcastle's rise to the Premier League and their entertaining pursuit of the 1995-96 title. Keegan's return to the St. James's Park Post in January 2008 proved far less enjoyable for both parties. He fell out with chairman Mike Ashley over transfer policy and left the club after eight months. Steve McLaren McLaren found the England job too tall in order but flourished afterwards with Dutch side Twente, leading them to the Eredivisie title in his second year. Disappointing stints at Wolfsburg and Nottingham Forest saw the Yorkshiremen back in Insheed but this time he managed barely a year before resigning without further honours. Howard Kendall popular at Everton from his playing days. Kendall's stock rose further during a six-year spell in charge of the Merseyside club. Kendall's team landed two first division titles one FA Cup and a European Cup Winners' Cup before leaving in 1987. He attempted to rekindle the magic twice without success. A humdrum period between 1990-93 and a final spell in 1997-8 which ended with a late escape from relegation. McLeish, who won seven of his ten matches in charge first time round, said in a statement, it is a tremendous honour to be named Scotland national team head coach. I am incredibly fortunate to have had the chance to lead my country already and I am immensely proud to be in this position for a second time. Single quote. McLeish replaces his former Scotland and Aberdeen teammate, Gordon Strawn, who lost his job after the nation's exile from major tournaments past the 20-year mark. Strawn was unable to take Scotland beyond their group in qualification for the 2018 World Cup. Even so, he did manage to improve results towards the end of his tenure, giving McLeish something of a platform to build on. The former Rangers manager, who agreed a two-year contract, said, There is much to be positive about in Scottish football with players playing at the highest level and promising talent breaking through. With Hampton Park as one of the host venues for Euro 2020 we have an amazing opportunity to showcase our talents to the world from our own backyard. 
I am relishing the challenge of leading us to a major tournament and I cannot wait to get started. Single quote. McLeish has been appointed 127 days after Strawn departed and only after Northern Ireland manager. Michael O'Neill rejected the chance to take charge. But SFA President Alan McRae insists the governing body has made the right choice. Alex McLeish is a true Scotland legend and a natural leader who has enjoyed success at club level. In Scotland and England and at international level. McRae said. It is a rarity to be in a position to appoint someone who has experience of successfully managing their country and we are delighted to reach an agreement with Alex. During the recruitment process he received resounding endorsements from several influential Figures in the game which helped establish him as an outstanding choice from a strong list of possible candidates. Alex has demonstrated a desire and ability to get results with the national team and we believe that he is best placed to inspire our talented group of players to glory. With Hampton Park hosting matches at UEFA Euro 2020 it is more important than ever before for Scotland to qualify for a tournament finals. And we believe that Alex is the exemplary candidate to guide us there. Single quote. McLeish's first game as Scotland manager will be the friendly against Costa Rica on March 23. SFA chief Alan McRae. Left. Said it was imperative Scotland qualified for the 2020 Euros.